Last season's show is not the answer to this season's challenges. Forget yesterday's show. What's your show today? If you're successful, you tend to think, this got me here, this will get me there, and you keep kind of following the same path because it's a path that's led to your success. If you do that too long, that path becomes a rut. And the more ideas you encounter, the more experiences you have, the more people you interact with, the more connections you can make. It's the odds of one of those connections being that breakthrough idea for you, your, your office, your business, or your world increase dramatically. Creativity is the spark that ignites when two or more different ideas collide. If you want to shake up your thinking and come up with a breakthrough idea, you need somebody who sees the world a little differently. Now, there has to be an intersection there. That's my expertise. I come at it from a different direction. For 15 years, our job, week after week after week, was to be creative. That was our goal. What can we do to make the next show better, the next season better? How about your business? How's your business doing? If it isn't where you want it, maybe it's time to shake it up. If you want to create a legacy so strong that 40 years after you're done, people are still holding you up as the gold standard in your industry, you have to shake it up. What I see most often with leaders or producers, because I consider them synonymous, is that they tend to lead day by day as opposed to looking at the big picture, you know, looking at that overall arc, whether it's a TV show or whether it's the next project in your business, your industry, what's the show that you want to be producing? A producer answers three questions. Three questions that'll determine your success as a producer in your personal and professional life. What's the show? Who's the cast? Where's the script? There are five types of people that I think you need to have in your life someplace. You need to have on your team, in your cast, somewhere. You need a smart person who disagrees with you. You need a butt kicker on your team. Third person you need is you need a veteran. You need a guy who knows a guy, or a gal who knows a gal. You need the wacky neighbor. This is, this is the unconventional thinker. I mean, we're looking for a guest for the show, and he's babbling on about liquid nitrogen. My first reaction to Bill's suggestion was, Shut up, Bill. <laughs> but why was that my first reaction? Well, it's because I was in my cocoon, wasn't I? But then Bill started painting a verbal picture for us. Hey, hey, guys, no, this could work. I mean, liquid nitrogen, it's very cold. You take an onion, throw it in the liquid nitrogen, take a pair of tongs, pull the onion out, hit it with a hammer, tsh, it shatters like glass. <laughs> cool! And that night, Bill Nye became Bill Nye the Science Guy. Yeah. Virtually every great invention, virtually every great idea, virtually every great thought that went on to change the world came from someone seeing two or more different dots and connecting them in a way that nobody else ever had before. And you can do it too. Can you do that?